I'm Greg Miller, and you're listening to Rabbit Hole Media. It kind of sounds gross, but I don't think it is. <laughs> Welcome to another special episode of Press Start, where we sit here with a video game controller and a video game in front of us and talk about said video game whilst playing it. I am one of your hosts, Christian Rashford, but as always, and as usual, I'm joined by the Jeremy Clarkson of Video Games, Jack Netley Thompson. That was the most stupid <laughs> intro I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> that doesn't sound like us. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? How are you? I am Okay. Perfect. What more can you ask for? What more can you ask for? <laughs> Before we get started, this is Press Start, your video game podcast here on Rabbit Hole Media. If you like what you're doing and what you're doing is watching us, you can follow us on Twitter at rabbit hole underscore UK. You can subscribe to us on YouTube where you can see us anytime that you wish. You can follow us on Twitch at Rabbit Hole Media. And you can subscribe and follow on multiple different podcast services on and around the internet. Indeed. And now you can follow us on Instagram at rabbitholemedia underscore UK for all of the behind the scenes and TikTok at rabbitholemedia for all of the behind the scenes. Chits and bits. If you would like to support us, you can head to merch.rabbitholemedia.co.uk for a wide range of merchandise which recently got wider. And finally... If you are watching us live on Twitch and you're an Amazon Prime member, you get one free Twitch Prime membership a month. Please, please find it within your hearts to give the free membership to us. It doesn't go, you know, doesn't cost you a penny, but it goes a very long way in helping us bring you the shows you love. This week we are here to talk about a little game called Far Cry Six. So we've both had this since launch day. We have. So it's just about a week or so. A week tomorrow. Week tomorrow, I think, okay. I think that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. Um, no, a week because it came out on EGX the same it day as did EGX. It did come out on EGX. So it was a week today. A week today. So we've both had a good amount of playtime on this. I think up at this point. Oh, it's warm. Correct. Um, yeah, we've both. What's warm? Both had a good amount of playtime <laughs> so far. Um, how much have you played? What do you reckon, hour count wise? Uh, according to the PlayStation, it is 10. Although that was last night, so probably like 13. Now. Interesting. You've got me intrigued. No, not settings. But we know the PlayStation has a very weird... 18, apparently, for me. 18! I've played a big chunk of this. Yeah, but you're f behind me. Not necessarily. I could have just done missions in different order to you. No, you're behind me. I can I can tell you I'm you're behind me from the mission you're on. Yeah, but I could do the missions in different orders, so I just may have left that one out for now and have done other missions instead. Can you? Yeah, because you don't get them all at once. No, I know, but I mean, surely you have to do all the missions for one area to get them on your side before no. you can move on. No, you don't. I see. No, I've been fucking around with all these other ones. I've been all over the shop, mate. I've been all down here. I uh, see. See, this I've is an archaic, all, or, almost should be illegal way of are, playing the game. I've got some musicians. Which, uh, missi musicians? P uh, missions that are taking me right up into this bit. No, 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 you can do it all over. Um, basically, um, I've got I myself... I think the, your way of playing Far Cry should be a crime. Well, my way of playing Far Cry was go to the mission closest to me at the time. How? Uh, no. Yeah, because I was, I was doing a mission that was then like taking me to something here as part of the mission. Like a mission I picked up here would like take me to here. Yeah. And then there was a mission like there. So I was like, okay, I'll go do that one. And then that's taking me like down here. And then there's a mission like, all right, there. That's next closest. I'll so do that one, which is taking me somewhere else. And Crime. It, you do an area until it is done. <laughs> like in the areas I've done, they are done. Well, maybe, maybe that's you, how you do it. Yeah, that's how it should be done. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fight me. It also makes these games easier and less arduous, I want to point out, to platinum. Maybe, but I don't intend to platinum this. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. It's, it's a shame because it'll be easy. I don't intend to platinum this. Oh, what's this? It's a roundabout. Okay. <laughs> you may as well because I, I am going to um, force you into helping me do the more difficult ones. So... This is fine. I'm At okay that with that. At that point, you would have done the more difficult one, so you may as well. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, what we should do, though, is play, play some the of game. game. Yeah. Um, so, 
I'm in a bad place. I reckon... You are in a bad place. I think you should bail. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely going to bail. I'm just trying to work out what what to do. I was bailing. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go and get that, I think. Let's just fast travel there out of the way and we'll go and get that thing. So, um, with your 10 hours playing it in supposedly the correct order, how have you found things so far? Very good. Very good. I have found, found things Hola. very good. Hello. Um, oh, you have things for me. Hello. You know something for me? Where it is the artist Zenia Zayas wants to meet you. Well, uh, th we can talk about the lip syncing first of all. That's not here. grand. I mean, this has been a problem with both Far Cry and Ubisoft games for a while. And the it fact is. that she now just stands there holding out this clipboard. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hey, now, it's better than some games that have come out this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Granted. Um, like, uh, yes. Um, I'm sorry, I just coughed and it just happened oh, okay. to sound awkwardly like Deathloop, but... Um, but no, I really like this game. I think the gameplay is great. It's Far Cry. Like, you're not going to get anything other than great from Far Cry. To me, I know some people don't like Far Cry. Those people are wrong. Uh, absolutely, yeah. It's because um, you're right. This is great. I think it's really good. I think the gameplay is really confident. I feel like I'm going a very long-winded way. I pressed the wrong button. Well, the road just comes up and yeah. around. Uh, navigation. I will say that I have found sometimes that if where you where you want to get to is just no way near a road, like an actual proper road, not even dirt tracks like this. As yeah. you can see, this doesn't on the map. This doesn't come up as a road. Yeah. Um, it's kind of just like figure it out, motherfucker. Yeah, pretty much. Have you figured out what those are yet? I haven't seen one of those before. Go to it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Lara. I'm near some sort of metal factory. Somehow. You might want to hey, your bike back. Station. I heard some strange rumors about that place. But if you're going in, hey, bike. look for any convoy trucks build If that worked. Yeah. <laughs> we can use <gasps> New feature that I didn't know about. Sorry. That wasn't 200 meters, I'm afraid. We'll have to try. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. On. But no, I also think, like... We mock character models all the time when it comes to these games, but... This game looks great. Yeah, the world and the map is stunning. It's so rich for one. Um, it it feels to me. I know it sounds like quite a cliched marketing term, but I kind of feel like Yara as a city like has a lot of character to it, or mm -hmm. as an island. Um, you might not have experienced this so much yet because you haven't. Ah. Um, gone further afield out of the different areas of the map but the different areas of the map as you go through them all feel quite unique and different as well yeah so I've been through a few obviously but what is this a Mission Impossible style laptop oh this is showing me all of the things and the stuff not all of them but it's showing you a lot of stuff okay like not the individual enemies but it shows you where the offices are and it shows you where all the tech is I need to okay well, this is good to know at least. Um, but yeah, I echo what you said. I think I think the game is very very good. Um, there are some issues with it. Like some of them are fairly large issues. Some of them are not so large issues, but are what I would sort of class as a shame. Mm. If that makes sense. Um, where is the target? Is it that yellow it's spanner? A, it's a base. What are you talking about? I thought it was one of the ones we have to kill one of the people. But I oh, it is a military target. You're correct. Well, we're gonna we're gonna remove this part of the situation first of all. Uh, but yeah, it'll be the um, the yellow one, I would assume. Murdered. Murdered. Um. But no, I I know what you mean. Um, obviously, I don't know what you're referring to specifically. I imagine um, we agree. But weirdly, on press start last week, I was talking about the, this weird respawning issue. Yep. Where everything would just respawn. Haven't really had that lately. So I've only noticed it in certain types of. Oh, hello. Not enemy. Mean. Um, certain types of mission or situation is the only times I've really noticed it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, many collectibles. Because I was getting it too, but it was only really on things like this. It was only on like bases and stuff like that. I was really finding 
that that was happening in story missions and story events. I didn't notice that as being a situation. Camera. What camera? <laughs> uh, mine was a story mission. Interesting. Okay. The, my, my main one. And bases is obviously you need to eliminate the people, so they don't keep respawning. Unless you set off an alarm. Well, obviously. sorry, yeah. I, this kind of thing, which is the kill a target as opposed to a base. Although I am just taking out everyone currently. Mainly because it's quite fun. Absolutely. It's like the most satisfying thing ever. Particularly, and we, you made the jokey remark earlier, that's the only way you can fucking kill people is yeah. by, by shooting them in the head because of this weird RPG thing that they decided to put on. And it is a very strange, there's a meta in upgrading your guns where you can put different types of ammo and guns, but if you don't put armor piercing rounds on your gun, you're a moron. Yeah, That's... because they're just the... Oh no! So many of those shots missed, it was like we are playing Hitman all over again. <laughs> but um, it's like, why would you put any other type of round in yep. your gun? Because it becomes nigh on useless. Yep. Yeah, it does seem to be pointless to do anything other than the other. We had that in um, our co-op mission the other day that we were playing. All right, now what? That um, if like we was we were sniping, trying to tactically take people out, but I didn't have an armor-piercing sniper, and it just wasn't doing anything. Yeah, <laughs> a headshot wasn't killing. I, I grant that. No. Some of the time, I just straight up missed. But um, the times I hit, it just didn't kill them. So it was very problematic. Was that not the chap? There's obviously more to this. Maybe you, have, maybe you do have to also eliminate everyone. Yeah. Um, because there is still some red on my map. Mm -hmm. I've oh. been seen! It's okay, I'll just climb back up the ladder and they might not notice. So close to doing this without anyone noticing. Yeah, last chap to as well. Out. Infuriating, infuriating. I'll let you do some shooting. Um, yeah, that's one of the biggest problems for me is the is the way that the um, so close to a trophy. I know. The way that the RPG kind of system works to it with the, with the health system for the enemies and that it's not unless you're playing it like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out how to phrase what I want to say. Because I'm saying it in a way as if it's really negative, but it's not. Because I kind of like that it's encouraged me to play like this. Because for me, this kind of stealthy gameplay... It's the best way to play Far Cry. Yeah, and it always has been. I've always enjoyed that. That is the way I've always played um, Far Cry as well. I try to. But I have been safe. I like being safe in the knowledge that it's not going to go all peak tong. Mm -hmm. If I, uh, if I yeah. fuck it up. Yeah, because I think that's always been the thing about Far Cry in the past, up until New Dawn, that if, if you do fuck it up, you didn't feel like you were completely outgunned in those large firefights, which is something that Far Cry's always preached, these big over-the-top firefight sequences and but stuff. The, yeah, they kind of just made it not possible to do. Yeah. Um, with, again, armor-piercing rounds. So I've got an assault rifle with armor-piercing rounds. I don't have to hit them in the head, and I will still tear through people. But it's, again, that why would you have other options? Mm -hmm. what, the, there are no need for any I of mean, these other options. My setup right now, if you have a look at my weapon wheel, so I've got a silent sniper, I've got a silenced rifle. rifle, a silenced pistol, and then that is one of the... Um, I've got an assault rifle or a submachine gun, sorry, which is my... What's they called? The weapons, like the special weapons you can pick up. That's an assault rifle. Oh, no, it's not. It's a submachine gun. Um, what are the weapons weapons, like the special weapons you can pick up? Which I only Resolver really use weapon? in... That's the one. Which I only use in dire straits scenarios. It's only there as a ah shit <laughs> type gun as opposed to one I go to yes, regularly. I have a different one. Like, I've got my... Pistol that sets things on fire. So that that's the thing. So the you can get incendiary bullets, but it massively lowers the um, the damage. Yep. Um, which for incendiary doesn't matter too much because they just catch fire, and mm -hmm. it's also reasonably helpful for vehicles. Somehow, I'm gonna get you a gun. Yep. Ooh, that is going to be remarkably fucking handy yep. for you. I don't have that gun. 
I have a grenade launcher, but I do not. I just I use sticky grenades. Okay, uh, they're obviously very handy for helipopters. Yes, um, helipopters, and also handy for the those big fucking gun things, the air defense cannons. Yes, because yes. they can only be destroyed by explosives. And it takes a really long time to get fucking explosive like things. Like grenades, kind of just happen, and it never tells you yep. that you have them. Um, which is this directional thing on the side, but you've got to change it, and it never. Is really that a tuna can as your range with a laser pointer? Yeah, it is. There's a can of yes. sardine. There's a can of fish, and then just a laser pointer mm -hmm. through a. Would like to point out, would not work in real life. No. <laughs> Just get a horse. That's not a horse. You can't ride that. Can you but get I my, uh, get my strapping driving. horse? Yep. That's right. I named him Spot. Come on. Of course you did. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Um. Yes, would not work in real life. But yes, you can ride a horse. That's nice. That's fun. You can also hit people riding horses, which yep. is less. You can also brutally murder horses by pure accident because they run out in front of your cars. They do that a lot. Regularly. Animals do that a lot. I've killed yep. many a chicken. Yep. Oh, the chickens. Yep. Many of them have been murdered. Yeah, you can sprint on a horse. Go. Did not. <laughs> log. <laughs> You're a log. <laughs> Why am I being shot? I don't know how to do that. I assume with your melee, I was my guess, but clearly not. Oh, I think you, you jump off and then... Oh, I don't know. Spot! Oh, no! Let's take a knee. A moment of respect for the dead. You missed him. You missed him. You missed well, him. I didn't. His health is half low. <laughs> Uh, that's from when I uh, ran him over. I'm sorry, Spot. It's fine, you'll be back. No. <laughs> that was <a> very... <laughs> you have a dramatic. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> another one behind you. Oh, the Where ones. are all these coming from? That one's got like stuff in the back, I believe. Um, yeah, sorry, I lost tra my, my train of thought. Same. So, yeah, I feel like one of its biggest drawbacks is, are those scenarios that in, in big firefights, you, I just feel outgunned all the time and they become frustrating and difficult and, and then not fun. Um, we both text each other complaining about the same mission where you're put on the back of an open bed truck with just hordes of fucking helicopters and cars, cars with guns and, stuff. and shit. You die very quickly. Very, and Your health no cover. goes down very quickly. There's no cover. Have you dropped the difficulty yet? No. No, I have not. I thought you said you did in the thing the other day. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. I think I fucked fit and then put it back. Call him out right now. You have. It's on the yeah. normal yeah. action mode as opposed to story mode. Yeah, so I did it for an mission, I think. One that was particularly go to fucking hell. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it was that one. But <laughs> here's the thing I noticed though. Even when you do. It's a very similar problem to Kana is when you do it drastically fucking changes yeah. it it's there's no middle it seems that fucking games of 2021 there is no middle ground on difficulty mm -hmm. it's either absolutely fucking mad or just a cakewalk yeah and it's just like come on like Far Cry was never particularly difficult you could overwhelm yourself you could get overwhelmed but it was never Overly difficult. I was here for a mission. Yeah, I was here for a mission. Don't know why I didn't blow that thing up. Yeah, no, did I? I didn't. Um, it was never particularly difficult. Ooh, no. 
sniper on Overwatch. Nice. Nice. But, um, yes, it's particularly irritating when... Yeah, they just keep coming at you. There's no real way to take out helicopters until later in mm -hmm. the game, which is fine, but then don't bombard you with helicopters yeah. early in well, the game. Rich said on Press Start about shooting the pilots out, and you just can't do that with the helicopters. I've done it with planes multiple times. Yeah. Helicopters just didn't seem to be an option. Yeah, they're either more armoured or it's just the angle. Planes fly at you. Yeah. So you can uh, kind like a of... a downward dive. Yeah, so you can get them out, but you're shooting through the bottom of the helicopter. So even if you were take, shooting the pilot, it would take 900 shots anyway because you're not hitting them in the head. So it's all very dumb. It's all very stupid. This guy seems to be. Didn't know what hit him. I think I have done this one, actually. I'm going to assume I can't shoot him through the tent, so I'm not going to. <laughs> what I am going to do, though... Just briefly change one of your guns right. to a grenade launcher. Ooh, oh yeah. It's a very fancy grenade launcher as well. Mine is not. And then just be like, hi. I don't know how that man standing next to the explosion didn't die. Nine by ten. What? This place is very on fire. Yes, anyway. many fires have happened. But I need the uranium. To plot a parachute, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I have done this one. While here. What the hell are you talking about, one? Oh, no. So I do think the biggest praise I can give to this game, though, is... I... Since I've, like, properly gotten into it, all I can think about doing is playing this game. Oh, absolutely. Same. I'm, I'm much the same. I've been playing it to the point where I've literally forgotten to do... Other things. Rabbit hole things, because I've been playing Far Cry for two yeah. days. Which, uh... Yep. May or may not be a bit of a whoops, but hey ho. Sorry, TikTok. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in much the same situation there. Um, it's been really good fun. Really good fun. And uh, even Committer's realised how much I'm enjoying it. She made a comment Go, herself. Go, boars! Attack yes. them! She made a comment herself about. Sorry. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ah. I'll just do this. Yes, I was going to say. Use your um, rocket backpack to fuck that up. This has not gone... What I should have done is taken everybody out first. Yeah, it hasn't gone swimmingly for you. You're about to die. My accuracy is... Yeah, I died. <laughs> but my accuracy is not good this evening. It's okay. Who the hell turns like that? I don't understand the question. I, I think it was the way they turned the car and you drove into the place with the thing. Not specifically a comment at you, so much as a comment at the in-game animations oh, would be I my see. assumption. I see. I, I want to know what the exclamation mark is that's up here. It will be a thing of, this is where things are. Oh, yes. Give me those. Give me those. Um, but yeah, so Commander made a comment about how much I'm enjoying it, just based off how much time I've been playing it and how much I've been talking about it. Because um, I, I can tell you like the game. Um, she was saying that that's clearly a good sign. Right, yes, it is. Very much is. Absolutely. Absolutely. I thoroughly enjoy. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. I'm enjoying my time yeah, with I've this game. And I think a lot of it is due to the fact that it's just a good game. It is a good game. Straight up. I, but I do think it's partly to the fact of we haven't had a good game in a very long time. Not, to like, not Other like this than anyway. Not, nothing like this. And also... Uh, the only other good game we've had, like, good game we've had in a substantial amount of time was Kano, and that was, like, two weeks ago. Yeah. So we're still in that period. I've got Crisis arriving tomorrow. Nice. I'll play Alan Wake at some point. Soon after... Oh, my God. Soon after that, we've got um, Guardians. 
I'm yeah, I'm excited about Guardians, but I kind of hope I get this finished first. Otherwise, I'll have to uh, put it off. No, I won't put it off. I will... I'll send this back to get Guardians to play it so we can play it in time for what we do. I see. But, ah! This has gone terribly. But what I will do is, um, once I finished it, Guardians, or got through it, get just get this again. This is going really well for me. Um, Very much missed the <laughs> roll over the road. But. Yep. I'm um, hoping I can use this tunnel to my advantage here. Cheeky tunnel. This is not going great. This is quad bikes are a nightmare. Quad bike. Have you tried fucking using a fucking hovercraft? Yeah, ho yeah. They're a nightmare in real life. To me, but, well, yeah. Um, but yeah, quad bikes are a bit of a. Please ignore me. I'm not in your military base. I love how it doesn't use a dirt track as a road, but a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, runway counts as a road. Fucking love Far Cry. Yep. Because shit like that happens in Far Cry. It's great All fun. the time is fantastic. Fantastic. You put uh, screenshots in the Discord of the uh, hitting a horse oh, incident. Yes, I have another incident to show you. I got on video earlier. Excellent. But, um... Can you not? Good. Can you... Oh. You've been redirected. <laughs> <laughs> None of that went well. I'm going to very quickly um, bring up the, the incident from earlier. Okay, fair enough. So you can see this, driving along, having a little drive. Just turn down here. Horses! Horses have fucked my car. <laughs> and they're just stuck under it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that gave me like what you don't get here is my reaction which is just me going ah <laughs> and then stopping and just looking at this perplexed for a while as to what had taken place in front of me there you go <laughs> I do like Far Cry <laughs> it's like the only reason I'd want to um, have my mic on all the time is just for the mm -hmm. my mindless senseless nonsense yeah. that happens the during during the game what is that what is that red thing I don't know. Oh, it's a supply drop. So has it just gotten me to the supply drop? Has it, yeah, has it just... Is that the cheat code? Die on your way there and it will just complete the mission for you. But no, it's a different symbol. No, this is an ambush, I think. That happens to have a supply drop at it. That's all this is. Everyone cool here? Yeah, everyone good? Yeah, ambush. But it only completed as soon as you did that, so maybe ambushes have those. Mm. Who knows? I haven't done one yet. But I have just now. Yes. Live on air. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot to do in this game, and it's all rather enjoyable. Races, I'm just I haven't done one yet, but I'm just like I did one that was really fun. It was a jet ski one that was really, really fun. Um and then I did another that was a hovercraft one, and it wasn't so fun. There you go. Yeah. That's my story for you. I'm hoping you don't have to do all of them for the fact. Yeah, fair. I'd be very upset, because it's the sort of nonsense I hate in games like these. Because out of all the mechanics that need fine-tuning, it's driving. Yep. I agree. It's completely serviceable. It's fine. But uh, not for racing. No, no like if Gran Turismo or Forza threw, threw these mechanics at me, I'd be less than impressed. I'm back at this big airport that ended, resulted in my death mere moments ago. I feel like trying to take out this cannon is a terrible idea. Do it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, but you were just driving away on a crop, crop, quad bike. You yeah, no, I'm in um, an armoured truck right now. Why have I gotten out of this? I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Drive in, maybe crash into the gun really hard. Maybe that'll work. What? These guns are impenetrable. Do you not remember us the other night? Yes. Talking of which, co-op. 
Co-op's really fun. Co-op is just the game, but with somebody else, and that makes it infinitely more fun, I think. Yep, infinitely more fun, but I've also found incredibly infuriating because I would like nothing more. I like the idea of just simply playing through the game with someone. Yep. But obviously it's not plausible to actually play through the whole game together. Um, and your yeah, progress doesn't carry over between... Um, it doesn't carry to both of you. It's whoever's hosting that progress yeah. carries over, but whoever's joined, they don't gain those things as well, which I get and I don't get as well. I think... I think if you're at completely different points story-wise, it shouldn't. It should just not let you do that. Well, I think what I would have liked is maybe give you an option to. Well, it should lock you out of missions that other people haven't got, haven't unlocked. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like it not yeah. let you if you're wild in wildly different places story-wise. Yeah. Like just don't let you do that. But all your side activity stuff can carry over. Like, while you're here, you may as well get the chest, because otherwise you're going to have to do chest clear. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Oh, there's many chests there. Yes. Oh, but that's all in the place where I'm going to get hurt. You don't have to get all of them, but there was one very close to you, is all I was saying. Ah! I don't understand who's shooting me. How am I going to get out of here? Ow. That was higher than it looked. Oh. I hate the fact that you can't climb over that fence, yet you can yeet yourself over a really tall wall. Great. I'm now in a situation. I'll take zero responsibility for this situation. It's okay. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed our co-op experiences. Are you for real? That particular specific co-op mission we did was a bit... It was fine. Yes, it was... There was nothing overly wrong with it, except for it was a tad difficult. Which um, is fine. That's not a yeah. criticism. I quite enjoyed doing that mission, if I'm totally honest. I found it... I did. I hate the fact that the game fucked it for us in terms of a trophy. Yes. Ow. See, there's this objective where you take a thing out of a cooler and you've got to get there before... Um, before it gets past a certain temperature and cool it down along the way with water and keep it from heating up by staying in the shade and what have you. I walked out of bounds by accident and it moved me, it respawned me somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And it took so long to spawn me that the temperature has just ticked over. Oh no, oh no. Past the point we wanted it to tick over. And it's, um, this is nonsense. There we go. Um, <laughs> eat a salad. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, that was that was slightly irritating. One thing I hated about that was the fact that they just tacked on a timed yeah. ambush mm -hmm. combat scenario at the end. It's like okay, but you could have like this mission would have been better if the whole point was to just sneak there and get back. Yeah, because the point where we were sneaking to get the thing was really good. Yeah, and us having to work out where we're gonna go. Two guys over there. You take the one on the left. I take the one on the right. I love all that kind of stuff. Um, and this game works really well for it. It feels very satisfying because you're able to kind of freely work that out as well. But yeah, then there was just the tacked on forced. You can't avoid it. Like gunfights where you've made an error and it has caused a gunfight. Absolutely fine. I have no yeah. issue with that. It's like these are the consequences of not doing things right in the game. Oh, it's underground. Ah! <laughs> Hairy pig. Yes. You rang. Oh, a pig Harryman. <laughs> Very good. I'm being chased by a red dot. I don't know how you get underground. That was not 200 meters. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is Far Cry, man? <laughs> I believe to have resolved the situation. Tunnel. Yes. Is that where you get underground? No. Right. What is this nonsense? Right. Right. I apologise for sending you on this quest for crates. I, I suggest moving on. Yes. I feel you are correct. Um, so we were talking about the visuals earlier and the game looking good and the uh, character mods and stuff. We kind of got cut off because we got ourselves distracted. What was it you wanted to say about that? Ah! Oh, just that the visuals are fucking great. Yeah, Character so models are less than stellar. But look at the 
map and the world. Like it looks great. It looks real good. It's really rich. All the trees and shrubbery looks fantastic. And honestly, this is exactly what I was saying, but you wouldn't notice ray tracing, isn't there? No, so you're right. You don't notice ray tracing isn't there. What I find disappointing, and disappointing is the only word I can think of that kind of makes sense here, is this is how good this looks now. Imagine how good it would look with ray tracing. I don't that's think it. That's my thing. I don't think it would look much different. That's fair enough. Um, which I was my, simply my point. Don't know. I don't know. Well, no, yeah. there's no way of knowing. But <laughs> well, there is. You could look at a PC version, but well, yes, yeah, but point. I don't think the lighting would look that much different. Yeah. I think they've just found ray tracing is a form of uh, a method of doing something. Yeah. It is not the thing. It is a method of doing yeah. something. If you've got another method, like. I don't want to try it. Go to my map. They're not using the same methods to cr to create. I'm not saying Ubisoft have discovered how to move <laughs> past ray tracing or anything like that. I'm just saying it's one way of doing it. And clearly the way that they've done it has worked. Uh, this is a side For mission. Consoles. Should we do this? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I do find what we're about to witness particularly bizarre. Oh, yeah, Danny. Oh, yes, this. Oh. This, to me, is such a strange decision, why this section Yeah, it's here. really weird. Um, we were saying on Press Start the other day, like, I know exactly why they've done it, and that's because fucking... Um, it was the thing that Destiny yeah, right. did and all sorts hey, of things. And it's, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. There's no need for it either. That's, that's yeah, it just feels that's, like more work. They've had to... Program in a third-person camera and body movements for your character and stuff like that in third person, and a more detailed, in, re in like real-time rendered character model that you can change your outfits and stuff for. For such a small section of the game that you could have just done in the first person, it would have been fine. For sure, for sure. A lot of that obviously would have already been there because some of the assets would already be there, but having to program it in to do more for sure. stuff. Like the, the f you can see your outfits changing on your person, yeah. even in first person. So that is kind of already there and it's already there for co-op anyway. Yes, this is true. Um, this is true. Not from a player's perspective, but no, you're right though. from yep. um, that's already there for co-op anyway. Not to justify the decision, I still think it's batshit. But, <laughs> but like, no, you're right. I don't no, think it's, it's as much work as you would initially think it is. What's up here? Oh, have you done one of these yet? I don't know what it is. Fucking irritating. Um, but thankfully, I know the answer. So you have to go up via that building and zip across. I uh, see. It's, it's a type of chest. Right. But particularly irritating type of chest. Right. You're not, you're not selling it, me. Because you have to find cryptograms oh, to be able to open Lord. it. Thankfully, for you. I know where they are. You've made this as I can't work out how to get up the building by walking the way you were looking at it. There's a ladder. ladder. Right there. I see it. I um, see it. I see it. Please forgive me. And then you jump up there. Can I not just do it from here? Wee. Oh, you can. But you did it backwards and have ended up up here anyway. <laughs> There's been a couple of times where I've accidentally What's did that? backwards. A person. Oh, you mean the car? Scan it. I'd like this, please. Give it. That Ooh. person would like it as well. Yes, a person's not allowed it. Scan quicker. Done. <gasps> I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Yeah. What did you think the scanning it was for? I just thought it was for, um, um, like, the missions and stuff. Oh, I see. You never actually scanned a vehicle. No. I see. So you need to find both of these things. Right. Normally they are very close by, but if you look up, you can see like arrows and clues to yeah, them. The first arrow. one is by that like water tanker at the top. You have to like do like this. You can something. see it, that orange thing on the front. Oh, of have you got to actually go get it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I want to do this. There you go. <laughs> Uh, thing I found. 
found it all on my own. There are like arrows and stuff leading you in the general direction of the other one. I see one arrow up there. I listen out for wind chimes as well. Hmm. Thief climb? I believe it's up there again. Yeah, that looks. Yeah, it's there. Oh, yeah, I see it. Climb? Stupidly, this was the first one I found, and it took me forever to find the other one, even though you can see it from the front. Oh, no! <laughs> Fool. But, but and then you just go and open the chest, essentially. I understand. Irritating. The sort of Far Cry thing, or, sorry, the sort of Ubisoft thing they do for seemingly no reason. Some QA guy got bored. Yes. I realise that's not what QA people do. I'm sure they get bored, but you get my <laughs> point. that way last time. No, you did this last time as well. Oh, you can do that, I suppose. That is there. Yeah, but you could have come... could have done what now? You could have climbed on that bin and jumped oh, over I the fence. Oh, I see. Yeah, I would not have thought of that. Whee! And then... This brings us on... We could talk about, like, the gear system and stuff. It just takes a while. Ooh. Okay, so let's look at our arsenal. Um. <laughs> I prefer Chelsea. Chelsea's giving greatly improved armor piercing round defense. I see. Does it look as cool as this, though? That's the problem I have with this game. All the high stat stuff looks a bit shit. That's <laughs> always, I, I've, it's always a difficult thing of this idea of... You know, when you have cosmetic stuff, which is also affecting your stats and not being able to t attach them from one another is odd. It's always odd. Oh, no, I do not want that. I look like, I like a knockoff Halo character. No, it's not for me. See, I don't mind in first-person games so much because you very rarely actually have to see yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and the more ridiculous... See, if you go into the any of the categories, like if you go into the shirts, for example... Okay. I'm kind of hoping there's more than that in more the than game. the ones that are available here at the moment. Yeah. That's fair. I'm hoping there are more than that, not because of like a variety of options and stuff, but because of they all, none of them feel high level. I understand. So if you go on the very, very, very bottom one. Yeah. And inspect. It's just a fucking, it's a high vis yeah. with some plastic bottles strapped to it. Like, I want some... And some of the stuff I've seen, like when you're playing as the... I don't know if it's different between the male and the female character, but some of the... I can't imagine it is. That would be insane. But some of the stuff I've seen is like gold suit jackets and stuff. And right. like, where the fuck are they? I didn't realise you were fucking tatted up. Yeah, that's I realise cool. that's probably mud and oil, but... Oh, no, you do have tattoos. Yeah. See, because some of them are kind of cool. But most of them, not so much. Yeah. They're just... Ver that's the one I have. That's, so, they're just various... Which I get the point, but, like... It's a Far Cry game. Like, Far Cry 3 was all about, literally, getting tattoo sleeves to make you godly. Like... Yeah. It's always meant to be a bit ridiculous. And so, I kind of... Kind of hope... Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And that goes, how do you have so much money? I've not spent it. I see. I see. <laughs> like, all my weapons are still fairly low level as well. So, all of mine, that was another thing I have. This doesn't bother me. That, well, it kind of bothers me, because it more feels like, I don't feel like I need to... Up no, that's the, that's the thing. And I found a system that works for me, and I don't feel like I need to fuck with it. But... That also disappoints me that the leveling system is even there in the first place at yeah. that point. Because it's kind of like, why is it there mm -hmm. if you can get a level one gun and you can be fine? So the only difference I can find, I found, as opposed to the power of the gun, is the amount of stuff you can put on it. Right, okay. So if you, if you back out, or well not back out, go to one of your guns. If you go to that one, so the level one... Not uh, oh sorry we're not at a workbench. We'll we'll make our way to a workbench shortly and then we'll look at that. Talk about that. Let's Have you done any of the treasure hunts as well? I've done a couple, yeah. Yeah, they're good fun. Some uh, of them are. 
One of the ones I did was incredibly infuriating. Yes, I, uh, there was one that I did was that was really pissing me off as well because, um, you know, uh, zip lines they auto detach you when you get to the end. Yeah. Mine would auto detach and I would still miss. Perfect. And it's like, mm, great, fantastic. And oh. it did that over and over and over again. The one I was doing was fine up until a point. Um, like, you had to go, like, and, like, go diving through some caves and stuff to find it. Mm. Which I did, and then I couldn't work out to get the fuck out of the caves, which irritated me. I mean, I just fast traveled out in the end, but it just, like, I feel like there should be a nice, clear way out of this. It might be me being an idiot. I appreciate it. That's absolutely fair enough. While we do this... Oh, God, um, these fucking angry birds are back. <laughs> while we do this, while we're doing this mission, because uh, we're not actually going to do any of the... Story, story stuff. Story stuff. Hello, Millie. I don't know why I said oh, hello, that. Wife. Hello, wife. Uh, um, hello. We're not actually going to do any of the story stuff. Oh, my God, now there's angry pigs. They're just fearful ones. This is understandable. Um, <laughs> yes, they're at. There's some angry cock waving about, so I don't, <laughs> so I don't, I don't blame them for running away. Um, but we can talk oh, about... Oh, Christ! <laughs> Oh, this has gone terribly. I just got attacked by a flaming cock, of all things. Only <laughs> <laughs> oh. want an egg. Oh my god, it won't leave me alone. Shoot it in the fucking <laughs> face. Why is it alive? <laughs> they're, 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 they're ridiculous. And you took away my machine gun for a grenade launcher. Oh, a grenade launcher. What? Use a grenade launcher? launcher. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on now? <laughs> <laughs> I've got no idea. Is it a case of you're shooting too close range? Try shooting that one. I'm reloading it currently. Yes, yes. Well, that one's stuck in the ground. Yeah, too close range, I imagine. It's not building up enough. It's impenetrable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to deal with this gun situation, first of all. <laughs> it's an assault rifle. <laughs> Where am I supposed to be getting these fucking eggs from? I don't know, but you broke one. So. Oh, he did. By the fact that he's uh, elegantly positioned laying against the pole, I, sh I would assume he did. No, it's just a nice little I doggy. was panicking. I was playing this the other day and Camilla's mum was over there. And I was showing her, I was showing her chorizo. Mm -hmm. And sh she was, oh, he's sweet. Can you shoot the dogs? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> In here? Another He's dead also man. dead. Another dead man. Ramon's little monsters egg. coming. That is a kicking. large egg. I better smash the rest of these eggs. Blast them. Incredibly. What? What? <laughs> the cocks are coming after <laughs> us. <laughs> They're angry. This is ludicrous, I'm afraid. No, he's he's the guy that did that song with Justin <laughs> Bieber. There are many of these eggs. He's got to mine. destroy 30 more. The fucking worst Easter egg hunt ever. <laughs> what a waste of chocolate that would be. <laughs> oh, no. oh! <laughs> This game's stupid. <laughs> There's more under there. Yes, but I'm being attacked by another flying cock. This is fair. Just... That doesn't roll. It's done something. It's I think you. Fuck you, rooster! Fuck you! One's on fire. One's on fire. It's a demon. I'm still just laughing at a fucking flaming chicken <laughs> diving out of the shed. <laughs> oh, dearie me. 
Do you think that's going to deal with... I feel like that should deal with the situation. Where are the rest of these fucking things? Everywhere. I can hear more of these. These are going to haunt my dreams. Every Far Cry game has had something like this. What do you mean? Because, like, one of them was the honey badges. Oh, God, Far Cry 3 and it's fucking honey yeah. badges. You mean just, like, the shitty little animal that comes shitty at you? Shitty little animal which just fucks up your day over and over. I can't remember what they were in Far Cry 4. I do remember riding elephants, though, which was good fun. You could do that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, they were there. Fine. Perfect. Oh, my God. Come on, now. I'm just kidding, your unborn children. Jesus. Pussy? Hey, Elvis. Got your egg here. Safe and sound. Right, what did you start asking me about before we were attacked by flaming cocks? Um, I was going to start talking about the story and what okay. you think of the story and the characters and all the other Well, bits. my favourite character is the flaming cocks. Yes, yes, um, agreed. It's my favourite bar as well. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> so far... Oh, put that away. Or don't. It's fine. It was a plan all along. Save these guys. So I think um, Giancarlo Esposito as uh, Anton Castillo is fantastic mm -hmm. so far, I think. Yes, I agree. He's a fantastic character. Oh my God! <laughs> they followed you! That's it, you run away. That's because there's another one. Where did she get a gun? My lord, it's the persistence of the... Very distracting, trying to have a serious conversation. Oh. Right, let me put a waypoint on. Or, fast travel. Yes, I was going to say. Um, yeah, obviously he's a fantastic actor anyway. Um, he is indeed. Everything I've seen him in, I think he's fantastic. I think he's great in this. The only complaint I would have, if anything, was I feel like he's been a little bit typecast for the role. They clearly went, we want Gus Fring... Yes. Let's hire him. <laughs> That's clearly kind of the way it went because he kind of plays that role almost identically. Um, it's not a terrible thing because it's very good and it's very entertaining. I think every time he's been on screen, it's been really captivating. Um, it's a shame that you've not had... I think where it falls down... Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to work out the best way of making this make sense. My favourite thing about previous Far Cry villains and the two previous Far Cry villains, which I think have been the best, which is Vast and Pagan Min, is the way that they interact with you. And I think the game does itself a disservice by having these third-person cutscenes and having cutscenes where you're not in so often and not having you interacting with this character. I'm sure as the game goes on it will, but it still won't be quite as intimate because it won't be him performing to your face. Mm -hmm. I think the best parts of those of Far Cry 3 and 4 in particular were when those actors were addressing you directly. Yeah, absolutely. So not even that, but like... It's not even just that. I don't. I see your point, and I agree. But I don't mind that so much personally. Let's take this for a spin. Yes. Um, no, I, I prefer the yellow. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, but they've never interacted. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Did what? they at the very, very beginning? The main character. Yeah. And very briefly. Very, very, very briefly. But. It was more that he interacted somewhat with... Oh, them. yeah, it wasn't with them. You were just yeah. present. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm sure as the game goes on... Like, it will happen, but will yeah. happen. But, like, with Far Cry 3 and 4 specifically, and, and 5, like, to be fair, less so with 5. But I think 5, I think they made, a mis made many mistakes with the enemies with 5, and we spoke about this, at the, uh, I think, earlier, or close to the time. Um, this is irritating. Yes. Um, horse again, see? Um, I, I, I don't think the enemies were as good as in, in 5. They're not as good. I still think they what were up th there with video game, top video game villains. Perhaps, yes. But I, compared to Vars yeah. and Vega Min. And no. I think, again, the disservice that Far Cry 5 did was it gave you too many of them and didn't really give you enough time with any of them. Um, from Reed and even to do anything overly... Well, the main one is still Joseph. Yeah. Or Matthew McConaughey. But Yes. 
I just don't. Th I just didn't think any of them were particularly interesting or as terrifying. Both Vast and Pagan Min were somewhat terrifying in the way that they were clearly unhinged but very intellectual. Mm -hmm. Pagan Min in particular, and Ant Anton Castillo falls into that same thing. He's clearly unhinged, but he's very, very clever. He knows what he's doing. He will outwit you before anything else, um, and kind of although he's incredibly impatient hasn't a huge amount of patience it's very strange um, and I, I think chickens the, um, Giancarlo Esposito which is put is that his name Giancarlo Esposito yeah I just had a moment of thought there is it something else um, it's particularly good that kind of role as well so yeah he's been fantastic to watch and I'm intrigued by the setting of Yara and you know the the kind of overall idea of liberty and liberty fantastic work <laughs> um, and libertad etc um, that's not what has grabbed me so far though about this like that's fine for me so far this story is there cool playing it's through it yeah. I'm sure I'll probably get more attached to it as the game goes on um, I can't say I exactly like care for Danny's plights or anything like that at the moment it's just is what it is it, it's the overall gameplay and structure of the game which is what I think works so well for me with this absolutely it's always been it's always been the same for me with Far Cry that is agreed oh well that would have been far too fucking easy wouldn't it <laughs> then explain to me how I think you might have been right do it there oh no there's nothing to jump on after that I think you were right it was just being shitty with you Oh, I like it. I like your approach. Oh, this is it. This is zip line. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Making this unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> For some pants. Oh, my car's causing... Hullabaloo. <laughs> I was listening to Sacred Symbols on the way here. Colin said Hullabaloo twice. I, I don't think that that is a direct correlation to you, I'm afraid. Well, obviously, it's got nothing to do with me. But uh, uh, I'm a big fan of the music as well. Actually, obviously, we don't have it on at yep. the moment. But I'm a big fan of the music when driving around. Absolutely. It's cool sort of Latino sort of music. Um, with a couple of songs that we would know. Yeah, so the two I've minute. had, one of them quite regularly is Camila Cabello's Havana. Mm -hmm. Um which I don't mind as a song. I have S quite have it on. And then I said, I got Living La Vida Loca the other day, which has made me particularly happy because banger. It, yeah, absolutely is a banger. Um, I forget, I got the sticky grenades that you can switch to. Yes, but I want to undo the... Oh, there's no one there. That's that's that's, that's not going to do anything. Enemy. Shooting you. Oh, yes. More coming. <laughs> well, this is all we need. So, about, what do you think of the story and stuff at the moment? Yeah, I, th oh, I think it's good. I think it's a. I, I think all Far Cry stories are the same, to be honest. Um, the same in the sense that they'll do, or as in plot wise. No, as in the plot wise, are pretty much like. Pretty much pretty, the same. Very identical, absolutely. Um, with some specifics here and there changed. Um, for more, your character Far Cry 4 was a bit more personal. Yep. I think Far Cry. I've kind of liked with a lot of a lot of the Far Cry games. Your reason to be there. It's, it's the thing I like the most, but also the thing that makes the least sense is mm -hmm. your reason to be there is entirely happenstance. Yeah. Far Cry 3, you're on holiday and you skydive onto just the wrong place. Yep. Just <laughs> straight up should not have done that. Very much Hagrid. Should not have said that. Mm -hmm. Should not have said that. Um, what? It just turned me around again. It doesn't know what it's doing oh, right now. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Um... Far, Far Cry 4 changed it up with, and then was very <laughs> was very much more personal. It was more to do with your character's mum yep. and the relationship with the pagan men there. 
but um, which is why you can end the game very early. Oh, cows! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can end the game very early on by just skipping off into the sunset with the villain. Uh, have you done that ending, by the way? Uh, yes. Uh, wait, no, I haven't done a secret ending in this. Yeah. Um, How'd you do that? You just fuck off. Just get in a boat and fuck off. Oh. Oh, to America. Yeah. I see. I did wonder if I could do that when he gave me the option of, here's your boat, you can go to America. You can do it at any point. You don't have to do it at that point. Will I lose my progress? No. I just spawned you back. Let's do it. <laughs> to get me a trophy. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. It's <laughs> the only missable one as well. Yeah, then let's do that right now before we forget. Well, once so, you've uh, captured this checkpoint, by all means. Or whatever it is you're doing. You're not capturing Oh, a no, that's a, that's a side mission. Uh, which is... A very long way away. Let's um, go to a place that has water. Just um, fast travel to um, the, the, that little that place. One. That's quite far out. Is there a boat immediately on the end here? No. So we'll do this one because there is there. How is this? Have you not got that? Oh. Air dropping. That's a thing? You can instead of fast traveling, you can fast tra you can fast travel, but be in the air. How do you do that? I just instead of holding square, I hold triangle hey, for me. How did you set that up? What did you do? Do you have a wingsuit? No. How did how? Where did I get the wingsuit? I believe it's one of the side missions you can do gets you a wingsuit, and I've not done it yet. So I find it very useful because if you're going somewhere that's like ah. five hundred meters away from, should the, we do that before we get in the boat? Yeah, workshop. Yeah, uh, workbench shop. What's it called? I don't know. Use your words. I don't know what it's called in this game. Workbench. Bench. My best customer. Yeah, it's bench. Okay, cool. Uh, what was I talking about, though? Oh, yeah, so if you go to a level one weapon, you've got these and then nothing else. Mm -hmm. But if you go to a level two weapon, you've got more. If yep. you go to a level three, you have that and mods. Yep. Um, so it's the I've difference. Got mods on my pistol. Really? That's. That's the difference to your um, to the guns and why you would want new ones. But that rifle you have is the rifle I have as well. <laughs> Sniper or the this bolt one. action? Right. This one. So neither. Yes, it's not a bolt action, is it? No. <laughs> um, it's the one I have as well. And so far, it's just the best fucking gun. I haven't found a gun that is a better fit. Yeah, I'm not the same. For my play style. That's um, primarily the gun I use as well. I'm just going to... That's irritating. Yeah, I can. Good. I just want to go that way. For some time. That's fine. One thing games haven't got right yet, even Ubisoft, is rain, though, isn't rain, it? Rain, yeah. Well, there was a point in, like, early PS4 and late PS3 where they started where to get EA rain. EA nailed it. Yeah, like... Battlefield in particular. Rain started to get looking good, and then it just went downhill again. Lightning looks great, though. I think it's doing rain in such large scale in an open world game is where it's tough. When you've got rain in a game where it's like a scripted section in a smaller thing, oh, it's yeah, be better. Absolutely. But this is probably raining over a huge chunk of the map yeah. at the moment, so... Lightning looks great. Yeah. So. Um, it doesn't look bad. It looks completely fine. It's just, obviously, compared to everything else, it stands out a little Absolutely. bit. I like the way it does genuinely slow down, though, as opposed to it just stops. Mm -hmm. This isn't the most pleasant sound to have just sitting. That could be worse. <laughs> Is that a cow? No, it's a boat. It looked like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Do it now. Look, earlier, you got cows correct. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> This, I hate. So these big behind our head title cards when you leave a new area, yeah. they remove the mini-map, they remove your waypoint. For a long period of like time. For a for good like chunk of time, yeah. Longer than needed, anyway. And it doesn't seem... So if you go through a checkpoint that's kind of like on the border of a couple of areas and you like in, yeah. out, in, out, it's just a... Yep. And for ages, you're just like, can I have my fucking screen back? Yep. Where am I going? It's infuriating. And it seems so unnecessary, like... I don't really. Need, I don't need to know that information. The name of the place, realistically. And if you or do insist in, on telling me, not in replacement of the yeah, information like, that I've put on the screen. As an addition. Good Lord. What the, 
You're basically there. I know. Come on. There are a surprising amount of vehicles, like... There's a lot of cars going, going on out here as well. I will rescue you. Wow. No. <laughs> this is the intent. I will not turn around. There we go. Well, I feel like that's a good place to end the show, but carry on streaming. Agreed. So, in terms of press start, this has been our live review of... Fu There's a thing. There is a thing on the screen. I apologize. This was the secret ending. We're going to watch this quick. In other news, war has ended in Yara. President Anton Castillo announced that Clara Garcia, the leader of the terrorist group Libertad, was killed by his special forces. She was quite annoying, I don't really mind. And as the pandemic tightens its grip on the globe, the federal oh. government may impose another nationwide lockdown. But first... It's kind of going to date the game yeah. a little bit there, isn't it? This is fine, give it three years, we'll get Far Cry... Septology, the remaster. Oh, yeah. It won't be that long until we start getting games about the pandemic, I'd imagine. Yes. Anyway, with that in mind, this has been our live review discussion of Far Cry 6. Jack, if you had to score Far Cry 6 based off what you played now, where would you score it? A one, because my mug is empty. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd be nearing a high eight. High eight is where I was sitting. High eight. There are a couple of things that I would like to say nine for how much I enjoy it, but there's just a couple of bits that are really like, yeah, ir like strongly irritating. Which all seem like issues which don't need to exist either. I think that's what makes them worse. It all feels this yeah. is just an oversight. Like you, I don't understand how you've worked out that this was the way to go. They all just feel like oversights, um, which is very frustrating. Otherwise, I think the game be much like even higher because I think it's really good. I think it's great. I think the performances and the characters are good. I think the world is both visually stunning, but also just well designed and well laid out. The gameplay is really good. Good gameplay loop. All the mechanics work really well. Um, I, yeah, I don't think there's any major, major issues with this game at all. I've been really, no. really, really People pleased People have been so complaining far. that it's very Far Cry, and I'm like, what a stupid complaint. Yeah, I mean, it says it on the box. I don't know what you want. That's not a com like, uh, The fact it's is very the Far Cry. The fact it's very Far Cry for me is it's... Why it's so it's good. It's why it's good. Like, <laughs> like, Far Cry has been great since Far Cry 3. Yeah. Like, Far Cry 2 was almost there, but it had a couple of ridiculous <laughs> additions, like disease. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Games can be about disease, but they can they should never strike the protagonist no. unless it's like a plague's tale or something. I, don't I think the only thing... Uh, do you know what really made the whole you have malaria thing insane in that game? Was well, you have malaria, you would have random malaria attacks, so you had to pop medication to make the attack go away. But if you ran out of medication and you nothing couldn't take happened. it, nothing happened at all. So what was the point? What was that mechanic for other than to just be irritating from time to time? And your guns would jam. Yeah. Get rid of it. Get any game that has jamming guns, do one. Absolutely do one. But anyway, uh, yeah, so Far Cry's been really fucking good. The only one that was really weird is like the first one, the first couple. Like they were the ones that were completely out of left field. Uh, Far Cry, and then there was, a, I think, a weird. Instincts thing. It was Far Cry Instincts in between. I think it was like the console version of the first one that changed a few things, but there was like monsters and shit mm -hmm. in that one. Um, but then Ubisoft came along, mm -hmm. uh, made Far Cry 2, and then obviously it's, it's not every year, so people aren't getting as like noticeably, please shut the fuck up about mm -hmm. Far Cry, like they were with Assassin's Creed. But also, it's just a gameplay structure that works, and yeah. it's like the only fucking single player game they have left. So just don't ask them to change it because it will become an MMO. Yeah, it, yeah. Don't, um, don't, don't like do it. Assassin's Creed seems to be becoming this multiplayer game at the moment. Ghost Recon is becoming a Battle Royale series mm -hmm. for some reason. They're making X Defiant, which may as well just be called Generic Shooter because um, it's the most generic thing I've ever seen in my life. They've f fucked off Splinter Cell entirely. Rainbow Six is becoming a zombie shooter. Like, uh, Ubisoft, why have you lost the plot? So the fact that they've given me Far Cry, I'm just like, 
Thank God. Yes. We're safe for now. Far Cry 7 is going to be a tactical card playing game, but <laughs> that's not the point. No, I agree. I totally agree. I totally, totally agree. This has been Press Start, your video game podcast here on Rabbit Hole Media. If you liked what you've been doing, what you've been doing is watching us. You can follow us on Twitter at Rabbit Hole underscore UK. You can subscribe to us on YouTube where you can see us anytime that you wish. You can follow us on Twitch at Rabbit Hole Media. And you can subscribe and follow on multiple different podcast services on and around the internet. Indeed. And now you can follow us on Instagram at Rabbit Hole Media underscore uk and at tiktok at rabbit hole media for all of the behind the scenes tits and bits if you would like to support us you can head to merch.rabbitholemedia.co.uk for a wide range of merchandise which recently got wider and finally if you are watching us live on twitch and you're an amazon prime member you get one free twitch prime membership a month please find it within your hearts to give the free membership to us it doesn't cost you a penny but it does go a very long way in helping us bring you the shows you love If you are watching us live on Twitch right now, the show is not ending for you, only if you are watching later on YouTube. So if you are watching later on YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTube, thank you for watching. If you're here on Twitch, stick with us. We're going to be playing for a little while longer still. With that in mind, until next time, we shall see you then.